I recently acquired a new vintage watch from well-known Swiss brand Zenith, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Complete with classic vintage case dimensions and a really elegant Portuguese style dial with pointer date, this piece is an absolute stunner at a pretty reasonable price. This is a 1980s Zenith Elite classic calendar. Let's take a closer look. Shopping for vintage watches can be a tricky thing. Many references are few in number and are from decades ago, so it can be hard to verify whether the watch you're looking at is genuine and from the brand claimed. Even if you can be confident that the brand made this reference, brands often change minute aspects year over year and simultaneously offer different versions with different components or styles. So while that variety is part of the fun of looking at vintage watches, you do need to do quite a bit of research if you want to feel confident before you pull the trigger. On top of that, you need to scrutinize the pictures to see if there's anything that looks unoriginal, like a new or repainted dial, or different hands that were added, or whether there was any physical damage that's been covered up. A good rule of thumb in vintage watches is if it looks too good to be true, it likely is. But in my view, this is part of the fun. And it's a bit more interesting of a process to find something with the right amount of patina than scrolling through endless offerings of pristine and interchangeable current references. The watch that we're going to take a look at today is the Zenith Elite Classic Pointer Calendar from the latter half of the 1980s that I bought on Chrono24. I've been eyeing Patek Calatravas and IWC Portuguese references recently, and I've been interested in beefing up my classically elegant watch collection. When I saw this watch with its amazing dial, from a strong and historic brand for the price, I thought it was really good value. And it's one of the watches I've been wearing the most recently since I bought it. The dimensions on this stainless steel gold-plated case come in at 37 millimeters in diameter, about 11 millimeters in thickness, and 44 millimeters lug to lug. At 37 millimeters, this is the perfect size for a low-key, elegant dress watch, and the same width as something like a Patek 5196. The case is round with a concave bezel sloping up exponentially to a nicely domed sapphire crystal. The lugs are really great here and have two thin layers kind of stacked on top of each other with a taper leading down to the strap. Just a really remarkable design and look of these lugs in my opinion. The case is a polished gold color with a snap on case back with text that confirms that this is a water resistant watch. There is a small recessed crown at the three o'clock that is signed by Zenith and recessed small pushers at the four o'clock and 10 o'clock that control the date and the 24 hour hand. The dial on this watch is absolutely stunning with a matte off-white tropical beige color with a black date track circling the very outer edge of the dial and a minute track stepped just inside of that. There are two vertically stacked, slightly inset subdials with a 24 hour dial at the 12 and sweep seconds at the six, each with an appropriate railroad style track sitting just inside circular gold frames each of the time tracking hands are gold colored, with the hour and minute hands being fantastic leaf shapes. There is a third center hand that is steel and acts as the pointer date, setting the red arrow tip to the relevant day of the month. The highlight for me on this dial are these striking gold applied hour markers in stunning Breguet style font. The dial is balanced out with the Zenith logo at 9 and the word automatic at 3 o'clock. I think this is a gorgeous symmetrical dial that has a sophisticated look that is both dressy but also classically sporty and really delivers way above its price level. The movement on this watch is the Zenith 46-2 automatic movement based on the ETA 2842-2 with a power reserve of only 24 hours. The 24 hour subdial can be adjusted independently with the left pusher so you could set it to a second time zone like a GMT watch if you want, but it's not really that useful given lack of legibility on such a small subdial. I have this watch on a brown calfskin strap with medium sized alligator texture on the top that I think looks quite good. It includes a gold clasp to round out the aesthetic and I intend to replace that generic clasp with a zenith sign clasp in the future. This is one of my favorite watches that I currently own and I've been wearing it a lot recently. It was one of the four watches I recently took on a month long trip to Europe and Southeast Asia and it was really a standout piece for me during that trip. It just looks so classic and refined but also casual and can be dressed up or down. While I didn't purchase this with the intention of it being a cheaper test run for something like a Patek Calatrava, and I do like this watch on its own merits and have every intention of keeping it, it has confirmed for me that I would enjoy something in this classic style that could be more of a grail level piece. I've actually received more positive comments on this watch in the past few months than any other watch, including when I was in a Patek boutique in Asia trying on some references. Thanks to everyone for watching this video. 
I've been traveling a bit recently, but I have some really good content lined up for the next few months. So stay tuned. See you soon.